is our little grocery haul for tonight's dinner. Um, I bought enough so that I could make extra and um, and then I also bought um, like some new spices and stuff like that that we had run out of and yeah so I'll walk you through what I got. Um, these are actually an after work snack. They're just chocolate coated almonds um, without any sugar added so there's zero grams of sugar um, added and then there's one point eight grams of natural sugar in this one so i'm gonna have that as a snack in a minute um so i got cinnamon sticks because these are spices that um need to go in the curry that i'm making so i got the cinnamon sticks i got this garam masala i think that's how you say it. i'm not sure some ground coriander some chili ground and some turmeric and also um some fresh coriander some garlic um these are just an odd bunch i don't mind buying them if you get quite a few um you need eight centimeters of ginger one green chili um i bought some basmati rice some chicken thigh um onions greek yogurt some vegetable oil, some cream, some honey. I got maple syrup, but you're meant to use like this thing called fernigreek or something like that. Um, they're seeds, but I have got this one because um, the supermarket didn't actually have the seeds. So the closest substitute was maple syrup. So again, I just got the sugar-free one, just opting for a healthier option. Um, 800 grams of crushed tomatoes and then also um, the recipe wants some lemon I think maybe it was like a cup of lemon fresh so I'll just squeeze these fresh um, might need three we'll see how we go and then also needed to add in some cumin so we'll go up here this is my spice cup that i actually really want to reorganize um but considering we're moving i'm like i don't know what to do now let's leave it as like a project um for the future so i just don't know i'm a little bit stuck with that um but this is what we're working with for now which is fine um so yeah uh, i'll just use the smoked paprika as well um we'll get some cumin um we don't want italian herbs so we'll use some cumin and i think that's all we need from in there um yeah i might just grab some chili flake as well so I thought we had some left, we might not, if not that's okay, um, we can work without it or substitute that for chilli powder, which I do have. I just find it really odd that I would have chilli flakes, hmm, interesting. And this is what I'm talking about when I say my cupboard needs to be really cleaned out. Um, yeah, I'll tell you if I have chili flakes. Because I have a little jar that I usually have my chili flakes in, which is empty. So obviously I'm out of chili flakes. That's fine. We'll just add in some extra um, ground chili. I'm sure we can make do with that. Um, so yeah, we'll just do that. And then, um, yeah, so this is going to be tonight's dinner. So I'm just going to cook. Um, I've been really inspired to do Indian, obviously majority of Indian food is spices. So you literally, like if you take away the spices out of this, so you take away spice, Literally your staple items like rice. Um, we don't need any of those anyway. <laughs> but um, take out your cinnamon, 
take out the rest of your spices and then stuff that you would normally have so like onion you would usually have usually you would have garlic not everyone buys ginger but usually you would have ginger so the basics of what you would need if you take away honey as well and maple syrup and the vegetable oil and cream like you're not left with much that you would have to buy fresh um so i would just usually buy like my fresh um lemon my fresh herbs my fresh chicken um if not some people freeze this i know we do so i would just pull it out of the freezer some yogurt um most people would have this on hand anyway and crushed tomatoes so pretty much like if you have your basic staples for this recipe it shouldn't take you much at all to actually um whip it up it's more just having all the spices on hand that i find um pretty tricky but i would just sit a top up and then i'm also going to do a kitchen reorganization video like i said um but yeah so in that video i need to write down a full list of all the herbs i use and then make sure i have enough spice canisters to pop them in and then also buy some spares just in case so i'm gonna go and have an after work snack i'm going to do my dishes because i don't even i don't want to show you what my kitchen looks like right now it's, it's really not that bad i'll just show you so i just need to clean up this little mess which is fine like that's fine um i'll do that and then yeah i'll have my little snack have a cup of tea and then i'm gonna get into cooking so yeah thanks for watching and um, i hope you enjoy this video So in this bowl, I just went ahead and placed some um, cumin. So I just did one tablespoon of cumin, the garam masala, three tablespoons, ground coriander, one tablespoon, the paprika, one teaspoon, the chili ground, one teaspoon, and the yogurt, one quarter cup. And then I mixed that with four centimeters of the ginger diced finely. Um, I did three cloves of the garlic diced finely, one teaspoon of turmeric, and also a quarter cup of lemon juice um, 
and one third of a cup of oil. Um, we use vegetable oil in this recipe because that's what it said, but I'm sure that you could replace that oil with anything that you liked. So now I'm just going ahead and dicing up our chicken thigh. The recipe calls for um, a kilo of chicken thigh diced, not too small. So um, I just went ahead and diced that up. Um, and then we preheat our oven to 220 degrees and mix the one kilo of chicken into that mixture that we just made and pop that into the fridge for 30 minutes. Um, I left mine in for about an hour because I could, um, because Michael was still at work and I just wanted it to marinate a little bit longer. So then I went ahead and made um, the other half of the curry, which is um, a third of a cup of oil, again, three onions diced, two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of maple syrup, four centimeters of ginger, three cloves of garlic, and one teaspoon of turmeric. So I just prepared that and then popped it aside while the um, chicken was in the fridge marinating. And then, um, yeah, I just left it all until Michael got home. And then that's when I decided that I would pop it on because it only takes about 10 minutes from there. Um, the chicken does have to cook for 10 minutes in the oven on its own in that marinade so I just popped that on about 20 minutes before I was ready to serve because you do have to mix it into the other curry as well and then while that's cooking I just cook the curry in the um, pot on the stove so yeah this is really really yummy recipe it was really delicious we really enjoyed it so I'll definitely be making it again um, we put it on the keep list so um, yeah, it was really yum, especially with some naan. I would love to make homemade naan, but I didn't have anything um, on hand for that. So I just left it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's just yeast, flour, salt, water. It, it's really basic to make naan. Um, so yeah, anyway, I've just about finished chopping the onion. And then... Um, yeah, I just go ahead and add in the spices here and then stir it up and then set that aside. and really helpful when cooking in the kitchen make sure I have enough rice in there so I might actually do a little bit extra because this looks like it's going to make quite a lot of curry yeah so I reckon I used about just over half a jar which is fine it'll get eaten um, because yeah, I, I really do think that this is quite a lot of curry and that may look like a lot of rice, but it's actually not that much rice. So then I'm just going to add the water. So I usually try to go about one centimeter over the rice. If you can see that there, you can't really, that's okay. And then you just literally pop the lid on, you click cook, it'll cook, and then it'll also keep it warm until um, you're ready to serve, which is really good because sometimes Michael will be late home from work or we go to the gym or something comes up where we can't be home. So this just keeps your 
um, meal nice and warm for you, ready to serve. And then these are also the onions that I have prepared ready to go with dinner. They smell delicious. I wish that you could smell them, but just take my word, they smell delicious. I'm that dog mum that spoils her dog no matter what. And um, even though our dog has been super naughty, um, yeah, we've had quite a bit of trouble with him, like jumping and, and um, just trouble with him and separation anxiety and stuff in general. I am going to cook him the leftover chicken thigh because there's only two pieces left. I don't see the point in just freezing it. I'll just cook it for his dinner or to go with his dinner. Um, just in a little bit of vegetable oil and I'll probably also give him some rice to go with that because um, he is a hound, so he's from the hound family and the hound families do tend to actually not gain a lot of weight. So I'll give him these with some dry food and then I'll also add in some rice as well. So here I went ahead and prepared the last ingredients um, that I needed to prepare for this meal um, which is the green chilli finely diced which I would um, take a little bit out next time because I did find it quite spicy. We were meant to actually supposed to put two chilies in but um, I only used one and I still found it really spicy so I'll definitely be opting for um, probably just half a chilli next time. Um, also just got out one stick of cinnamon, um, the 800 grams of tomatoes. And yeah, so I just dice that up. And then at the end, you stir in a quarter cup of coriander. So I just dice up the coriander here as well and go ahead and pop those into bowls ready for, um, the are ready to add into the mixture. So um, yeah, and then also it does call for more lemon. So I'm just also, um, preparing the lemon so when we saute the onions and the spices in the oil on the stove later um, you do that until they're nice and translucent and then you add in your tomatoes your cinnamon your green chili and your quarter cup of lemon and you cook that on the stove for um, 10 minutes and then you go ahead and add in 300 mils of cream one tablespoon of honey and you simmer for the further about one minute and then you add in your chicken from the oven and you cook it on simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your chicken or until it's cooked through but your chicken should be pretty well um on its way to being completely cooked when you pull it out of the oven so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video please um don't forget to subscribe and like it um and hopefully i can make a lot more like this for you so thanks for watching